Hey everyone, this is Buzz from WB Modeling. Uh, today we are having a photo shoot with my friend Tara. She's a hairstylist in town, but we've worked together uh, three or four times on some other photo shoots and she always brings a lot of energy, um, a lot of opinions, and uh, she has a great wardrobe too. Um, and she's really, she's someone who's really easy to talk to. So sometimes, I mean, like we can spend like 10 minutes like talking on something and, and totally forget that we're there to take photos. So it's always a good experience to spend time with her. All right, so the studio is coming along. Uh, it's a lot different than you last saw it. Here is the interview space. Uh, you'll see Tara and me there later on. So what I want to do today with Tara is a double diffuse lighting technique. From what I understand, like kind of what Annie Leibovitz uses um, in her photography, and she's a famous photographer, so look her up if you don't know who she is. Um, what we'll be doing exactly is using the, the 8400 Pro into a Fotec light shifter umbrella um, and then we're going to diffuse it even more with the 4x4 grid um, so this should actually give us a lot softer light um, which i'm really interested to see because i feel like sometimes the octavox or something like that i feel like it's not as soft as i'd like sometimes um, so i'm kind of interested in this technique um, i don't think i've ever used it um, so i'm kind of excited about it we just need a model to do it Uh, August made it four years. Wow. Yeah, so um, I started when I was 19 years old. Okay. Isn't that cool? I mean, like, was that the only job that you ever wanted to do? No, I wanted to do photography. Really? Yeah. I wanted to do photography since I was like 11 years old. Okay. And then, um, but it wasn't like the kind of photography that you do. It was more like National Geographic or Discovery Channel type photography. And then I was in photography class in high school and I got to watch kind of the behind the scenes of these people and their jobs and it wasn't pleasant <laughs> and I feel like you kind of have to know somebody to get in anyway so I was like it's probably slim to none that I'll actually get the opportunity to be a photographer for a discovery yeah so I just kind of opted out but luckily my senior year I really got into like fashion and makeup and hair so I just kind of thought maybe hair would be okay to do yeah. so I talk to you I know same we, we it just it just keeps going it's great I'm gonna be a little more just so I can see your like your profile kind of thing. What is the biggest mistake that people make with their hair? That's a good one. There's a lot of mistakes. Probably the biggest mistake would be melting it off with bleach, okay. which can be obviously a stylist problem, or people do their hair at home. Um, that's probably the biggest one because it's so it's so you can't reverse that. But yeah, like if you melt it off, then you don't have anything to work with. You know, so I'd say like chemical reaction is mm. the worst thing. Okay. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Come up a little bit and go back that way. Are there any trends that are currently happening that you don't understand? Gen Z. Okay. Telling people what to do. Okay. That's a trend. It's a big one. It's a big one. Yeah. They're like telling people like, you know, millennials, they can't wear their hair to the side and they can't wear skinny jeans or they're like skinny jeans are out and side parts are out and the laughing emojis out. It's crazy. I'm not against trends. I think that people do things because they want to and more power to them. I'm not like one to put people in boxes and think that you shouldn't go outside your norms. So, but I just, I have a problem with people that think they can tell you what to do. Yeah. And especially when those people ate Tide Pods. Yeah. 
because they did. Gen Z ate Tide Pods, so <laughs> don't listen to Gen Z. You can wear your hair however you want. That's <laughs> All right, that was a lot of fun. Um, I really like the double diffusion technique. Uh, I think it's amazing. I think the results are incredibly soft, um, and it's uh, a degree of softness that I haven't seen out of a soft box or an Octobox. Um, so I'll be trying to use it a lot more on things. Um, I'd like to thank Tara for her time and uh, her friendship. It's always amazing to talk to her, and I could talk to her all day, uh, just about everything. If you want to find out more about her, uh, her Instagram is right here. And if you want to see more of uh, my work, it's of course at WB Modeling on Instagram. Uh, that's it for this episode. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who's been checking out these videos and liking them. I, I really appreciate it. Um, as long as someone is watching, I'll keep making them. So uh, that's it. This is Buzz at WB Modeling. That was fun. Yeah, I like it. <laughs>